Hi guys, it's Janet Wakelin with RemarkablyCreated.com here with another One Take Wonder video. Today we're going to look at Project Life by Stampin' Up, one of my absolutely new favorite lines from Stampin' Up. In case you haven't heard, Stampin' Up has partnered with Becky Higgins, who is um, the originator of Project Life, and we are carrying her actual um, logoed Project Life. And what we are doing is we are incorporating Stampin' Up colors, some exclusive Stampin' Up accessories, and um, products like that so that everything within our product line of course coordinates our ribbons, our elements, our cardstocks, our designer papers but that everything here is also sized to work with Becky Higgins um, Project Life. Project Life is a style scrapbooking designed to capture the everyday and also designed to help you get your memories out of boxes and into page protectors so that they can be enjoyed for um, years and years to come by everyone and so that we can remember to capture the stories behind them. Project Life is what they call um, a pocket style scrapbooking that uses pocket style um, page protectors and I'm going to show you those in some fun templates in just a minute. The basis of Project Life, besides the page protectors, are these journaling cards. And ours has three different sizes. You have um, 3x4, 4x4, and 4x6. These are all printed with Stampin' Up's exclusive color. And there's a 100 in a set, and no two are alike. They're designed to be um, used vertically or there are some that are designed to be used horizontally, so landscape or portrait. And again, you've got different sides the whole way around. They're a nice weight without being so heavy that they're going to weigh your books down. And again, they do coordinate with Stampin' Up's ribbons, papers, inks, and things like that. Some great quotes, some places to journal and make messages. You can also mat photos onto them. Our Project Life cards are square as opposed to the standard rounded ones that are out there in the industry. That way you have an option and you do have a corner rounder that you can purchase if you would like to round your corners. So just it's nice to have choices in life. You will notice that all of Stampin' Up's Project Life is color coordinated or branded with gray and yellow. That doesn't mean that you have to use everything kind of like Granimal style that's gray and yellow together. It does remind you that everything that is gray and yellow works together, but of course you're, ah, excuse me, you're able to work with these on cards, on traditional scrapbooking, on fun crafts. You'll um, see a frame that I did here on my blog, as well as, um, of course, utilizing these with other non Stampin' Up product as well. So that's our wonderful storage box. This box is exclusive to Stampin' Up. It's designed to hold your cards. It's designed to hold your journaling pens. It will also hold photos. If you're not using the lid, I also use the lid for storage. When you're traveling, though, it does pro um, provide protection to the cards and photos so they're not getting bent. I recently had this very box with me on a cruise, and you can see that it stood up to travel very, very well. Some of the additional pieces in the Project Life line by Stampin' Up! include accessories, fun little embellishments, um, and things like that that you can use on the cards, framelits that are designed to use with a big shot die cutting machine, and different assorted rubber stamps. So that's part of our line. And you're going to see how I incorporated these. This will cut 4x6, and this will cut 4x3, and then you have some fun different tags and things like that that you can work with. So that's our framelits. So those are going to be a fun tool, and you're going to find that a Big Shot is going to be a great accessory to your project life, means of preserving your memories. Stampin' Up! sells their Project Life page protectors in a set of 12. They do come in this handy storage 12x12 12 12, um, Ziploc bag. I like this for traveling and taking them with you as opposed to having them in an album and traveling with that bulky full album. This way I can just take a few pages with me when I'm going somewhere and while I'm in the process of working they have a place um, to be protected and saved. As well as this Ziploc bag is going to become a handy storage tool for the templates that those that are attending my launch are going to receive as party favors. So let's take a look at the different page protectors that Stampin' Up! has. There are six of them. Or six different designs, two of each in the pack. And down in the lower left hand corner you will see silver embossed numbers 01 through 06. You want to make sure that when you put them into the ring binder album that this is down in the lower left hand corner and that the raised part and the um, shiny part is up facing you. That way you'll have your page pages open the right way and things won't be falling out. You don't have to use them in numerical order. You can use them in, in 
any order that you want. You could also buy several packs and only do an album of 01s or 02s or 03s. There's no um, right or wrong. It's just nice to know that there are numbers on the templates, and you'll also see why that's nice in a minute when I show you um, the templates that I created as the party favors that I mentioned. So those are the um, page protectors. And then just to show you, let me grab a couple of these here real quick. Again, the concept with the Project Life cards. Becky Higgins designed the idea that you could either drop just photos in. You can add these fun little cards. If you didn't even want to use cards and you just have a whole bunch of photos that you want to get into some kind of um, system, you can just drop them all in here like that, cutting them down into 4x4s and 6x6s. And then again here, you've got some that are going to be 4x3s. One of the two party favors that the guest attending my Project Life launches virtually and in person this month receive is this little acetate template. And it may be a little hard to see online, but it is a 4x3. Let's see if I can get this out of here for just a second. There you go. It is a 4x3 piece so that you can hold it over photos so that you can decide if that's the size that you want to cut down and see who you're cropping out of the photo, maybe who you don't like or you don't want to keep. There is a 4x4 one there, and then there's also a 4x6. So that's going to help you decide. It's also great to use on designer paper or cards. Sometimes maybe you don't want the whole card. And here again, I've got this one that says it's the little things. And so maybe I want to see how it would look three by three size so I can lay my template over go you know I really like that gets rid of a lot of the white space around it or maybe I want to see if it's gonna you know how it's gonna hold up as four by four and I'm looking at that and I'm thinking nah, I don't really like it for me it doesn't have equal white space the whole way around it there's more top and bottom just a personal thing but I'm just you know that's how the thoughts would run through my head if I was using this template so that's one of the two party favors and something that you could easily create at home yourself using heavyweight acetate so, again, Becky Higgins designed it so that you could use your Project Life cards, just dropping them in. Now, let's look at another option that you have. Another option that you have is to simply just create your own. And this is some of our beautiful new designer series paper, debuting June 2nd. And I simply used those framelits that I showed you to die cut the paper. Lots of pretty different designs. And so I have these to work with in place of journaling cards. I wanted to, to play with the paper. And then in addition, remember what I said about um, Stampin' Up's coordinating line, our card stocks, our ribbon, and our embellishments all coordinate. So I also went ahead and I used um, some of our coordinating colors of card stock to cut different elements. These pieces here are our word bubbles. These are another really, really fun Framelit set that would be a great investment in your project life scrapbooking. And then there's a couple other fun elements that are different framelits as well, little arrows and things like that. They're going to make fun embellishments. So another option is to go ahead and cut paper. So now again, you can simply just take all of these elements and drop them into the little page protectors. But I know some of you like to um, plan ahead a little bit visual and you kind of want to have an idea of what your pages are going to look like before you start really cutting into photos, um, before you decide um, how many page protectors to use, all kinds of things like that. So what I did was I took 12 by 12 acetate and I hope that this shows up okay and I went ahead and I created masters of every one of the pages and they're numbered 1 through 6 and here you can see there's the two 4 by 6 the 4x3s across and the 4x6s across there. And I went ahead and I did one for all six. And again, this is one of the party favors that those that are attending my virtual and live launch are receiving. I think that they're going to be excited about these templates. I'm excited just to own them and to work with them myself. So let me show you how I created those. You want to work with heavyweight acetate. You could work with lightweight traditional window sheets, but I do like the heavier weight acetate. You can find it at your local hobby store, hobby store, excuse me, office store. And if not, one of the sources that I like to work with online is an art store called Dick Blick, and I will have that information on my blog for you. Our page protectors are slightly larger than 12 by 12, and so that means that when you lay your 12 by 12 piece of acetate down, you want to have an equal space the whole way around it. And this is, again, just to kind of give you a template. 
So we're going to grab our ruler and we'll lay that down. And we're just going to take our Sharpie. We'll draw lines. Of course, you want to use a Sharpie so that it's a permanent marker that you have. And all I'm doing is following the, page, the little pockets that are part of these pages. And then this one has pockets that just go across. And hopefully the glare isn't too bad. And so this one happens to have four 4x6s and four 4x3s. This is number two. And then down here in the corner, I just wrote 4x6 and 4x3. This is a quick visual reference. At my age, I need all the little extra notes and things that I can get. And now I have a template of all of the pages that I can work with and lay down. So now let's take a look at how that would work. And let me see, I kind of played with this earlier just so it wouldn't take us forever and you wouldn't have to watch me futz. And I think I came up with number number five and number one for the two that I wanted to use for the pictures that I happen to have. So I'm going to just lay these templates down and I know that there's a little bit of a glare and I apologize. But you'll get the idea as I start to lay photos down that I'll take some of the glare down. So now what I have is I have some of the designer paper and see the cameras are going that way. The chevrons are up and down. And now I have some photos. And let's put the gray over here. The gray piece over here. And some more of my photos. This was an amazing speaking engagement I got to attend years ago that featured Wally Amos, Bill Bailey, and Jim Rohn, amazing motivational speakers. And I was just really, really thankful that my mentor encouraged me to sit at the feet of masters and learn. It's made a big difference in my life. And I'll lay this picture down. This was a fun picture to capture on the way. Obviously, we flew out the same day, um, went right to the conference, because you can see here I'm dressed at the airport, but Build It Big is a book by the Direct Selling Women's Alliance. It was one of their first um, in a series that they did for the direct sales industry, and I have a chapter featured in that book. So um, it was my first time as an official author, and it was fun to discover that in the airport on the way to, to see these speakers. So just a little bit of a scroll moment, kind of a fun, happy picture. little story there behind that picture. See, this one is going sideways, so we'll put that one here. So you can kind of see how... And then the cameras are actually going different directions so that I can use that. So you can see now how you can start to plan. And I've got extra photos now. I can already tell that I'm going to want to cut down and put in. And now I can also take my little elements. And I can add pieces across them. I had a really fun piece earlier. So now looking at this layout, I know that, oh, and I don't like that. See, it's kind of fun as opposed to, a camera moment. So I know now looking at this that I want another, um, at least another um, four by six photo and then another smaller photo here, or I could even rearrange that. But you can see where the templates are going to allow you to play just a little bit and decide if you have enough photos for a layout. Um, how you want your little elements and pieces to go. And so I'm really um, enjoying working with these templates a little bit because I am a traditional scrapbooker. And so I do have a little bit of planning in my jeans, I guess, just because I'm so used to how, how that would go. And let's just fold that around like that, create a cute little tab. And then this one's got some nice lines on it. And this is where I'm actually going to write the story is um, using this piece of designer series paper and the lines on that for the journaling and then the same thing I'll be able to add some extra little thoughts and things on these pages just like that. So I hope that you um, kind of got the idea of the templates. Have um, some more ideas in your head for using Project Life and realize how easy it's going to be. 
I will be hosting um, one more virtual crop this month on May 31st. And again, I'm doing it virtual as well as live with party favors. And then in June, I will be doing one um, live and virtual crop a month as well so that we can get together and we can get our memories preserved and we can sh share stories of the photos and um, just get to know each other. It's one of the reasons why I love scrapbooking with others is because um, photos talk. Um, and they talk best when they're not in boxes. So um, I look forward to helping you um, get them out of the boxes. I look forward to sharing Project Life. And you can find out lots more details at RemarkablyCreated.com. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless you.